Hi everybody, my name is Sabrina and today I want to show you how to create uh, uh, this monster. I wanted to create something funny and uh, something simple but uh, not based on a geometrical shape so the rounded square uh, shape with uh, horns, uh, small uh, arms uh, and then I created a symmetrical eyes uh, because I think uh, they make it funny and strange and interesting and yeah. <laughs> The first thing we need to do is import the image I drew on a piece of paper, so we can use it as a guide to create the shape of our monster. To import the file, we need to select Attach Canvas in the Insert part of our top menu. Now select the plane where you want to have the image. I choose the front plane and then you can select the image and import it. We can resize the image selecting the image in the canvases folder on your left menu. Right click to open the menu and select calibrate. To calibrate the image we select the two bottom corners and we type the dimension we want for our monster. I'm making mine 60 mm by 60 which is about two and a half inches by two and a half. Now we can create a new sketch on the front plane using the spline tool. Draw the silhouette of the monster and don't worry if the sketch is not immediately precise. We can edit the spline afterwards. You can fix each point of the spline, moving it or using the green handles. Rotating the handles, you can modify the inclination of the curve and dragging them, you can modify the dimension. Use all these skills to fix the sketch until you are satisfied with the results. The fewer points you use, the better. This way your spline will be more organic and easier to fix. Now we will create a horizontal line for an even base so our monster can stand correctly. We clean the sketch using the trim tool, deleting all the lines we don't need that will make our monster off balance. We can now extrude the profile. We select two sides as direction and set the distance at 15 mm on each side. And here we have the body of our monster. We need to start a new sketch on the front plane and using the spline tool again, we create the shape of the arms. Don't worry if they are not exactly the same. This will give more realism to the monster. Make sure to merge the sketches with the extruded body of the monster to be sure to have a single body. Now we can extrude the arms selecting the two profiles at two sides and the distance in each side at 10 mm. Be sure to set the operation to join to merge the arms with the body. Next, we create a new sketch on the front surface of our monster's body. Keep in mind that you can use every flat surface as a plane to create a new sketch and apply new functions. We can turn off the body of the monster in the left menu to be able to see the monster image we imported at the beginning and use it as a guide to create the mouth. We draw the mouth using the spline tool once again, adjusting it afterwards if necessary moving the points and the handles. Now turn on the body we switched off before and we can extrude the profile to create the mouth. Note that the operation should now be set as cut and make the distance 5 mm. In case you need to invert the direction, you can add a minus before the value in the dimension box. To create the eyes, we are going to use the sphere body. We create it on the front surface of our monster and in case you need, hide again the body of the monster to see clearly the image we imported. We create the left sphere 12 mm of diameter, but be sure to set the operation join and the right sphere as 8 mm in diameter. Making the eyes different sizes makes the monster funnier and gives him more personality. Now you can turn on the body and check your results.
Now we need to add some details to make the monster more expressive. For example, we can add pupils to his eyes. To do this, we create an offset of the front plane using the Offset Plane tool, located in the Construct section of your top menu. You can select the plane easily from the left menu. Keep in mind that you can also use the left menu every time you need to select an object. We create an offset of 23 mm, which is far enough from the surface. Now we start a new sketch on the plane, drawing a 2 mm circle for the right eye, and we extrude it using a distance of minus 4.5 mm, setting the operation to cut. We repeat these operations to create the pupil of the left eye. This time we set the diameter at 4 mm and we cut extrude it at minus 3 mm because it is smaller. Now we add some fillet to make the edges less sharp. We select the edges of the arm by clicking on each one and set the fillet at 2 mm. Repeat the same operations with the other edges of the arms. Add another fillet inside the mouth to make it more realistic. The last fillet is to make the body edges more rounded and you just repeat the same way. We save our project in the Autodesk Fusion Cloud and when the new name will appear on the top line of the left menu, we can export the file in STL. To export the file in STL, we select the object by clicking on the name, then right-click or hold down Ctrl plus click on Mac and choose Save as STL. Now that you know how to create this funny monster, you can create your own family of monsters to have on your desktop. So now check out kirakira.com to find other cool designs that can inspire you to create your awesome projects.